for ways you waste your money without realizing it. Do you know people who constantly complain about not having any money and still buy the new iPad or some other expensive item? If so, you are definitely not the only one. To help you or your friends better manage their income, here is a series of tips from psychologist Drake Bear. In general, saving is not part of our culture. Rather, we are programmed to consume as much as possible to help the economy. If you fell into this trap but honestly want to save your income, here are some tips to help you do so. 1. Eating out. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't remember eating so much as a child. Over time, it seems that each year we go out more and more to eat out. The problem with this is that it is expensive. I was reminded of this the other night, when my wife and I paid a good deal of money for French fries to share with our five boys. I could probably have made the same thing at home and for a lot less. If you never go out to dinner, you have a chance to save a lot of money by eating at home. It's not as fun and carefree as the other option, and you have to wash the dishes when you're done. However, it's worth avoiding dining out to save a bit. 2. Do not combine multiple trips in one vehicle. I think most people agree that gasoline is quite expensive these days. For a time, people were surprised and dismayed by the increase in prices, but now we have accepted them as fact. Unfortunately that means we are not as conscientious as we should be when it comes to saving on car trips. Instead of going to just one place to pick up something, make a list of all the places you need to go. Once you have all your errands written down on paper, find a way to run all your errands in one trip. Chances are, you won't have to drive as far as you would if you did each trip separately. Saving car transfers will not only help you with your gas bill. By taking fewer trips and driving fewer miles, you'll cut maintenance costs on things like oil changes, new tires, and even the most expensive of all expenses, a car. 3. Automatic subscriptions. Automatic subscriptions can be a huge time and money saver if, and only if, you continue to use them. I always use my subscriptions a lot in the beginning, but as time goes by and I get used to having them, I usually use them less and less. Take a look at your credit card or bank account and see which ones you are paying monthly, quarterly, or annually. If you are not using them, just cancel them and save money. 4. Buy in bulk and then throw food away. Buying in bulk is a great way to save money. Well, it is until you end up throwing away half of the food you just bought because it's spoiled. I am the first to admit that I waste a lot of food that we do not eat or that is simply left behind in the back of our refrigerator. Luckily, there are a couple of very simple solutions to this problem. First of all, if you plan your meals, you will find that you will waste much less. Next, put a chalkboard on your refrigerator and pantry and write down everything in it, along with the expiration date. With these two tips, you can be sure that you always know what you have and how much time you have to use it. It will also help you buy more reasonable amounts once you get used to seeing how much you normally consume.